you're spring cleaning on the outside, you have to know that curb appeal starts at the curb. And your lawns are very important, so you need to spruce up your lawns. And also remember that you haven't started your lawn equipment for several months now, and it may actually be hesitant to start. So go out and get something that, clog that clears your clogged fuel lines. And I like to suggest start your engines. It's a great uh, liquid that you put inside your, well, that you pour inside your fuel injection lines. It's really easy to use. So you just pour some inside your fuel injection line of like your small engine equipment, say a lawnmower, weed whacker, leaf blower, and you give it a minute so that it works in there and it gets, gets going and your small engines just start up super duper fast. That does make a lot of sense. I guess lawn equipment would need to be started occasionally and moved around, just like a car. I can't tell you, you know, before using this product, how many times I've taken my, um, my paint sprayer or my pressure washer to the repair shop. Just pour this right in there and it just clears it out and makes it a lot easier for you. So what other tips can you share for effective spring cleaning? For me, spring cleaning starts with switching out my fall and winter clothes for my spring and summer clothes so you know if people have tons of clothes like in their closet and you know you haven't worn your clothes in a long time or you have clothes that are in like desperate need of repair create two piles a donate and a toss pile right so, but for the clothes you're gonna keep and the clothes you're gonna hang up in your in your closet freshen them up before you do that what I do is I pour one cup of arm and hammer baking soda into my liquid detergent and mix that in. It actually helps the suds work harder, therefore, of course, cleaning better, and my clothes come out so much brighter. And, you know, now that spring is here and we're talking about the interior, you know, mold and mildew, they grow fast in damp environments. And I mean, it can truly take off. And if you ignore it, it can cost you thousands and thousands of dollars to remove. So you want to have a mold and mildew inhibitor and I suggest to try Zep commercial clear shell and this is really cool because it creates an invisible antimicrobial barrier for protection and it actually once you spray it on your surfaces it makes your home resistant to mold and mildew and it lasts for a year it's easy you spray it on no wiping needed and you can spray it on virtually any indoor or outdoor surface Wow, I'm sure we've all had mildew problems, especially after a lot of rain. It's really good to know how to protect my clothes from mold and mildew. And you know, mold and mildew can get dangerous if you, you know, if it lasts for a, a long time, not to mention, you know, so it's not good for your health either. Now, let's take it outside yeah. for a moment. Well, let's take it outside. So your windows are important too, right? And people forget about their windows. If your windows are dirty, you know, it's taken away from your house. Your windows are the eyes of your home. So most people are like, okay, which ladder am I gonna use? Like, which extension ladder do I use? Or if I go to the hardware store, how in the heck am I gonna get this ladder from the store to my house? Well, here's something for you, and this is a really cool product. It's a 16 foot compact extension ladder that when you collapse it, it collapses to six feet, which makes it easy to transport, maneuver, and to store. So problems gone and windows clean, hopefully. And for your viewers, for uh, the show that I'm on, Carpet Peel the Block, check it out, 5.30s every Saturday. And right on, spring is here, spring is near, go for it.